Hello and welcome to the Griffiths Institute for Drug Discovery. My name is Stephanie, I'm a PhD student here and I would love to show you around this institute. Let's go and have a look. We are here in the Center for Cell Factories and Biopolymers. Our center focuses on developing innovative functional biomaterials using cell factories. And these biomaterials that we produce can be used in really diverse applications. We have people working on vaccines for devastating diseases, and new diagnostic tools to really speed up the process of treatment. We have really an interdisciplinary team, people with an engineering background, people with a biology background, and it's really great to be here. People with immunodeficiency diseases, they don't have enough of their own antibodies to fight diseases and the current method of treatment is to isolate antibodies from healthy people to give it to the sick people and this process is currently really time intensive and also costly and the materials that I developed make this process faster and cheaper. I can see where my research is going, it is so applied, I'm actually making a difference in people's lives. So it's amazing, I would have never thought that I can achieve all of this. When I started my PhD, I was like, oh yeah, it's just a degree. But now seeing all the impact that I have, is great. The Griffiths Institute for Drug Discovery is also home to Nature Bank, which is a unique drug discovery platform, all based on natural products. And these libraries are ready for screening against devastating diseases, which is a great resource here for us PhD students, but also for researchers outside of our institute, which can be collaborative. Hello and welcome, I'm Isaac. I'm a first year PhD candidate here at GRID, and this is level two, the chemistry laboratory. Come with me. Hey Wendy, very good, and we're looking at the big machine. I had some life-saving rem remedies when I was a kid, so it feels like if I can give back, it would be very, um, yeah, very fulfilling, for sure. My PhD project is all about this bacterium called Burkholderia pseudomalliae. So if you're one of 10 people that catch meliodosis every year in Australia, yeah, you've got like a one in five chance of actually passing away as a result. The way I'm going about my project to try and find a medicine to cure this disease is by a fragment-based drug discovery approach. This is the mass spectrometer laboratory. I use the Solarix mass spectrometer here to screen for um, drug-like molecules that might bind to the protein I'm looking at um, in an effort to design a new therapeutic for meliodosis. And then when I find hits, these molecules that bind to my protein and might inhibit it, I'm going to do some enzyme assay studies and then try and optimise those molecules so we can might be able to turn them into a, a pill form medicine that we can just give to someone when they uh, catch this disease. With everyone here doing such similar projects, you can much more easily share your results, discuss your findings and you know, move in the right direction with your research and learn so much just from a chat over lunch. <laughs> 